Hello ladies and gents, Bushman here and welcome back to my channel after a long break for another Last Oasis video and update. First things first, I would like to apologise for the sudden stop in content after a large increase in numbers to my clan Scallywags. It took up the majority of my free time for the most part and I've taken a small break from the game also. As some of you will know, making bases also became kind of redundant in the game as the meta shifted to the living off your deck and crafting in the logout zone on the edge of the map. Good news though, ladies and gentlemen, that has somewhat changed with the addition of stone bases, which we'll get into later in the video. Also, before we start, I would like to give a shout out to Radio X and his YouTube channel, something I've wanted to do for a long time, as this quality content deserves so much more attention and subscribers. He's a member of my clan and makes fantastic cinematic YouTube videos for Last Oasis. He has recently moved countries, so he's also taken a short break from videos and playing the game. But please go over and check out his channel and some of the fantastic work he's done for the game. Here's just a short clip of one of his most recent videos, and don't forget to subscribe and show him some support. So that being said ladies and gents, let's not beat about the bush and jump straight into the video. And the purpose of this video will be to talk about the incoming commerce update to official servers and how it's looking so far on Better Branch. In fact ladies and gents, there's so much has changed and has been added since my last videos I could talk for hours but I'm gonna go and try and keep it short and to the point. What I personally like and don't like about the update and what I would like to see going forward which you may or may not agree with. So downloading Better Branch and logging into a freshly wiped game starting at the beginning at the Cradle map was very nostalgic. The first time round I didn't spend too much time in the Cradle but this time round I had a good look round and the map itself is fantastic. So much detail compared to other maps and the wreckage in the centre is monumental. For some reason the map has got a real atmosphere about it along with the old man in the background telling you little bits about life in the oasis. I took the time to appreciate some viewpoints and have a look around the complex map. Everything from the canyons to the inscriptions on the rocks really gives you a feeling of present dangers and, and an exciting adventure ahead. It was also nice to see some old clan names on objects and walkers scattered around the world like Brothers in Arms and Spice and after getting to around level 25 I decided that was enough and went to go and join my clan on the medium map.
As I said before, I haven't covered a lot of things from previous updates. There's so many new walkers, ammunition, weapons in the game. So for all that all you people that are observing from a distance, I will try to catch up in future videos as more content becomes available in the better branch. First, we'll talk about quests, flots, and traders. Quests have now been added to the game, almost like dailies that you'd see in an MMORPG. Each trade station across the map is unique and you can accept and complete three quests from each individual trade stations. These can consist of delivery missions to other maps, scouting missions, supply and demand of resources, and to kill various types of rupus, monsters, or just clear camps across the map. In return, you'll be rewarded with flots. These missions reset every six hours. Flots can be in hard form in your inventory or can be deposited into a wallet in the trade stations, which are safe from other players. Flots around the world will be in a physical form in your inventory and anything you sell or want to buy from the traders will have to be in physical form. Any flot rewards from quests will be deposited into your flot wallet at the trade stations, so if you wish to buy tablets from the traders, you will need to withdraw your flots first. This is a fantastic addition to the game and very well implemented in my opinion, but I would like to see some expansion on this type of content in the near future. At least now flots have a purpose and value, so a very positive step in the journey. You will also find auctions for loot crates every 6 hours on the trade posts and you can bid with your flots. It works the same way as bidding on bidding for something on eBay and the items I've seen so far are tablet crates, weapon boxes, armor boxes, tool boxes and equipment chests. The boxes can be anything from 1 to 5 in quantity and it's quite self-explanatory what they contain. Anything from the most basic items to top tier in various quantities. Next then, we'll take a look at the new walker, the Silo. This walker runs only on torque, it looks rough and ready to go and it can pack stone, clay and concrete bases. The maximum panel counter is only 250 panels, but it's got a huge weight capacity of 19,200 kilograms. A point to note is that the base is raised off the ground, but you can build downward, so this could make a perfect base to protect soil excavators. It'd also make a strong FOB, or just a secure base to keep on the map to do some crafting and store some basic materials. If built strong enough, you could make it your permanent on-map base for the duration of the map cycle, which by the way is currently 30 days on Better Branch, which is the best change they've made so far in my opinion. A 30 day burn time really gives you time to settle into a map, build structures, make friends or enemies, and just enjoy the experience. The burn time on official servers feels so rushed in my opinion, you're always prepping for the next move or the next new tile rather than just enjoying the time you have. Now onto the stone structures. This is very cheap solid structure that requires hellfire arrows to burn so perfect for early game, solo players and small groups to keep your items protected. And ladies and gents, it gets people out of that L zone and into the maps. As a result, the maps are more alive with players, they look more alive which then results in more PvP content. I've already built a stone base on the silo walker but I'm not 100% happy with the design so I'm not going to do a video about it just yet but I would like to show you around the base anyway as you can see here. So, what do I dislike about the update? Well, I'm all for proxy defences, but I have to agree I'm not too keen on being able to box a whole proxy, making it very difficult to raid. It's bad enough to raid with a medium wood box, but now with this cheap stone structure it's even harder. I remember trying to raid a spice proxy with very little resistance, using fire arrows and explosive bolts, but it was near impossible to keep nakeds away from pulling out the fire arrows, and the explosive bolts actually damaged the fire arrows as well. 
with having to spread the fire arrows out across a walker now as they do damage to other fire arrows in close proximity destroying just a few panels in the box to gain entry to the proxy is very very difficult to spread your arrows but you can now do damage to the hull of any walker with something as basic as a flint bolt or dart Again, I'm not a big fan of this change either, despite the fact it does take a lot of darts and bolts to do damage to the hull of a walker, it's still making it easier to raid. Here's just a short clip of Benji Minotaur's stream and his clan raiding a box proxy with just repeater turrets, which was quite fascinating to watch, and it worked, but it took them a long time and a lot of darts. That's all from me today, ladies and gents. Overall, a very, very positive update, and I'm sure I've left a ton of new information out of this video, but these are the main points from me. There'll be plenty more videos to follow throughout the better branch, and I look forward to seeing you all for the official wipe in approximately four weeks' time. Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gents. If you're new here, please click that like button and subscribe button, and I'll see you on the next one.